Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about the host thing, right? About the host pseudo selector, we have seen it. For example, if I try to show you the output, the host pseudo selector. So this is the output we are able to see. The host pseudo selector, what it will try to do whenever you are trying to apply CSS for the component element or the host element. So we need to use the host selector. And also I have, I have told you that if you want to use the tag selector, instead of using it in the same component, the component where you have initialized it. So that means app iPhone course in the app component.css, you need to mention it. So here you need to mention it. So this is about the host thing. Now I want to tell you about an another pseudo selector, which is available in the angular that is host context. So what is the use of this host context? For example, let's say that in our app component.html, this is our app course, right? So let's say that we are having a div class is equal. Oh, what is this capital letters? It is coming. Let's remove it. Due class is equal to parent. Okay. So this is our parent. Now I will copy this one also and I will paste it at the bottom. Yeah, this is our parent. And here I'll be having another one due. Due class is equal to parent. So this is our parent. Now these are the two things which are available here at the bottom and the top. Now this is our parent, right? Now what I want to tell you is the now here the app course, if you want to target this host element, we can use it like something like host, we can use it. The same scenario, if you want to target the parent element, if I want to target the parent element, that means we need to traverse upwards. Normally in the CSS, we don't have a selector to traverse upwards, right? We can traverse only the downwards. So now if you want to traverse to the upwards, so that means, so you want to catch the host element, which is having a parent of container or let's say that, uh, content, I will change it to content. Okay. Like this content. So which is a parent content is a parent. Now, if I want to target this one means what I need to do, let's go here for this one. We need to use the host context. So host context, host to context, which is having of class parent parent, not parent content. So I want to search for the host context, which is having parent as a content. Now here you may be having a content hyphen one and content hyphen two. Now I want to target only the host element, which is having a parent of content one. Then that means what I need to do. So here I can write it something like content one. Now I can remove these all the things. Okay. Now what I will try to do is so here I will apply a background color. Uh, aqua. Let's say, so that means the parent element, the content one parent should have a background color of aqua. If you try to see the output, see the aqua color has been applied where it has been applied. If you go in and see the inspect element, it is not applied to the host element. So it has been, it should be applied to the parent element host context. Okay. So if you try to see here host context of content one, so like this, you'll be doing. So what is the use of this one? Okay. So what is the use of this one? So for example, let's say that, uh, you are having in such a way that, um, let's say, um, not only for this one, for example, let's say that if you are having one step up above, so here one step above you are having, if I want to show you the meaning I want, I want to explain you the correct meaning. So I think you hope you understood about this host context thing. So if you are having content one like this. Okay. This is our content one, right? If I try, if I try to see the output. So now this is not a direct parent. The content one is not a direct parent to this host to app course. So it is a parent. It's a grandparent. Now, if you try to see the output, then also you can able to see the output. It's not a problem. Okay. We are having grand grand parent. You will be having. So for that one, for that element only. So if you know this one host context, then only you can apply. Now, for example, let's say that. Okay. Let's say that why we will be using this one is. So something like, uh, for example, let's say that who is having a parent content one inside this H1. Okay. Inside this H1, I want to apply a color of red. Let's say color of blue. I want to apply it like this. So that means the app content, which is having a parent of content one inside that one H1 element. I need to apply the color of blue. If you try to see the output, see, I'm able to apply the blue color for this one, only for this one, for this H1, I'm able to apply the blue color. So how this is able to possible is 
Now here I am not catching the host element. I am trying to catch the host element which is having a parent of content one. Okay, try to observe it very carefully. Host means it will directly apply to the element. And here, if you don't have the any class for that host, if a if you know the parent class, if you know if you have if that component has a parent and you if you know the class of the parent, then you can directly use the host context to find the parent. And inside that one, you can catch this element. That is what I want to tell you. So like this, we can catch it. And inside that one, so you can traverse to the H1 or whatever the element you want, you can traverse into this one. So this is about the host context. So host means directly you can apply to that hosting element. Host context means you know the hosting element, but you don't know how to apply this one. But I know the parent element of that host one. So by using that parent element, I am catching that host thing. And inside that one, I can I can uh, style it whatever the elements I want, I can style it. So this is actually the concept of the host context. So now what I will try to do is, so here we are able to understand this one, right? So this is about the host and all uh, host context. For example, if I remove the display block here, if I remove this host and all those things. Now if you try to see the output, what will happen if you see the output? So here we are able to see the output, right? The blue color and all those things we are able to see. And if I try to apply a border, so here for this host context, so for this one I have applied color blue. So that means if whatever the element is there inside that one, the blue color will be applied to this one. So for example here if you try to see, so for this H1 you are having especially uh, the red color in the styles.css. So this is applying globally. Let's remove this one. Let's see whether we can able to see the blue color or not. Host context we are able to see the blue color. Fine. It's perfect. Now what I want to tell you is, so here we are in the course component and here I want to apply a background color background color of red let's see whether we could be able to apply we could be able to apply it or not if you try to see the background color we are not able to apply it so now if i try to apply a border okay if i apply a border border one pixel solid black i am not able to apply it this one also why why because because the con the element the host element is in the display inline by default as as we already discussed in the previous session so for this one, what you need to do, you need to make it as a display block. This one you need to remember. If you want to create it through the Angular CLI, you can directly create the element with a, uh, what I want to say, with a display block like that. So this is about the thing which I want to tell you. Display inline, by default it is a display inline. If you want to apply some of the classes, if it is not applying means in the host context or host, you need to make that uh, host component as in, um, what I want to say, display block. So this is about the host context and the host pseudo selectors available in the Angular. So what I will try to do is I will commit this code in a new branch. Uh, I will come committing this code video hyphen nine. So I'm committing this code. So this one is host context. So host context means you know the parent element and you want to target that parent element and you need to find the host element means we'll be using this host context. So let's commit this one. Whoever may be having doubts and all those things. So you can go to my GitHub repository URL. So there I have, I'm posting each and every video. The code I will be publishing here. Whoever may be having a doubts in this one, you can go to that particular video branch and you can take the code and you can refer it. So hope you understood about this host context and host thing. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.